it's been scary, quite an emotional time at the moment, but the residents, we have to be there for the residents. Seeing the customer, we have to be there for them. So it's more about emotional stability, it's offering that extra bit of safety. It's a place where you need to be caring, you need to be patient and you need to be understanding no matter what. The residents haven't seen their family and friends, so we are their family and friends as well as their carers. Because we try and keep normality for our residents, so we try and keep things as normal as possible for them. A lot of families ring up into the home and speak to their loved ones. We use Skype, we use WhatsApp and FaceTime as well, as well as telephone calls and letters. Families and friends send little parcels which we help them open. We are doing Zoom in, we are doing video calls. We've also had some family members come into our front garden and speak with the loved ones through the window. It's quite emotional. Everybody has been very supportive. Everybody has been working together as a team to make sure that uh, we care for our customers the way we should. The one word to describe how I feel from our care staff, all our frontline staff, all the people I work with, would be proud, uh, immensely proud of the, the work that they're doing, uh, the support that they're giving, uh, and just how everybody's working together. The one word that will sum up people that I work with is just outstanding. Just really outstanding. We're just all there for each other, for us, ourselves, and for our residents as well. Just to see the smiles on their faces because we're there. It's great. It's really nice to know that you're doing your best, working hard to keep the residents safe.